Welcome to week 10. This is the last week that I'm going to uh, attempt to teach you anything new. Uh, the course ends next week with the final, uh, which reminds me, um, the, the date and time of the final are posted on the course website. If you have any conflicts with that at all, please contact me soon so that we can find an alternative arrangement for you to take it. Um, with the end of the quarter, uh, there is no opportunity to take the final late. If you need to take it a different time, we've got to find an earlier time to take it, either earlier in that day or the day before, something like that. Uh, but it can't go later. Okay, I'm going to get myself out of the way and we can take a look at what's going on this week. So, um, as usual, the instructions are in here and the content is in the content block. This week is all about parametric equations. Uh, this is a different way of describing graphs of functions. Um, rather than doing y as a function of x, we do both x is a function of some parameter t and y is a function of some parameter t. A parameter is just another variable. So x and y are both functions of t. If you think of t as time, what you're doing is you're describing the position of a point through time, giving both x and y coordinates. You're describing motion. Anything that you do, any video game that you play, any computer graphics, any computer animation that you see is someone figuring out parametric equations to get the thing to move around the screen. Uh, they're hugely useful. Um, so anyway, we spend uh, this week uh, talking about them, both um, from the point of view of taking equations and turning them to graphs, and then I have a project for you to do which goes the other way, taking graphs and turning them into um, equations. So this is the second project of the quarter. The first one was the, the triangle assignment, right? And this is the second one here, the parametric project. Um, there's a link to the parametric project right here, parametric doodling. It is due on the day of the final. Um, so that's actually next week that it's due on Wednesday. Uh, but you should really get started on it sooner. So work through the content here, learn about parametric equations, and then start working on the project practice. This link right here has 10 or 12, I don't remember, um, graphs for you to come up with parametric equations for. Every student will get the same questions here. You can work together. I suggest that you work together to try to figure out how to do this stuff. Ask each other questions. Ask me questions. Um, and then once you've got an idea of how you think you're going to be able to do it, then click on the parametric doodling project. This is randomly generated, so each student gets a different set of questions. Uh, but they're all of pretty much equal difficulty. Um, not that the six questions you get will be of equal difficulty, but each student, question one will be equally difficult and question two will be equally difficult. Um, but anyway, um, so you will want to get that done by next Wednesday. As usual, a quiz will appear on this Wednesday. Um, I think it appears right underneath the discussion. Ask all your questions about the project or homework, whatever, in the discussion. Um, I will be active uh, in answering questions uh, this week, as usual. Anyway, uh, get started early. Um, there's a lot of new stuff that you haven't seen before in here. Um, so it's fun stuff. I use it all the time. I, I can't tell you how excited I am about parametric equations because I use them all the time in the stuff that I do. So anyway, should be a good week. Have fun.